coming up in this video, we've got Burger Sports Pizza! Tayas! Zeke, Chad. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone, here we are in Steve's shop and uh, I am so, so blown away here right now. This, this is not only just cool in terms of the car and how it looks, but the way Steve has actually redone his shop quite a lot. I'm so blown away with the amount of progress he's made. And obviously we've known each other for so long now that it's so cool to see just how far he's come. The 33 looks crazy right now. I can't believe the amount of stages. This car's been here so many times at different points and just how different it looks. It's pretty cool to see it back here. So the car is very close to being finished right now. So that's super cool. And it does mean that there is a bit of a tight deadline. We've got, I think two weeks to get the car completely finished up. I say we, but it's actually Steve and the guys. Um, I've just come today to drop off a few things. So the last few interior bits and pieces that my dad has basically done all the work for. And oh, you know what? This place is Candyland. The cars in here, it's just, I'll, I'll have to show you guys around, okay? So let's go for a little bit of a walk, shall we? We've got my brother's R33 GTR over here. And I think these might be some of his little bits and pieces. There's his bonnet and that is his beautiful green carbon fiber spoiler blade. But I don't think he's sticking it on at the moment. I think he's leaving the standard one on because it does have a bit of a, a thing written there and he doesn't want that there. And if I'm not mistaken, it's not easy to just remove. So, that's one of the things. The fit, man, oh my God, it's aggressive. It is slightly on the overly excessive side, but it's coming out looking amazing. The car now runs pretty well, so it's not a matter of. After the last video with the car, you would have seen with it. Um, it does need to go in for another session of mapping, so that's one of those things that it's basically booked in for. Um, we thought it would need a little bit of a tune-up, but because the drive-by wire has been completely changed around, this now needs a completely different map. So it's had a soft limit to put in for 3000 RPM and it's just good enough for now to get us around. Let me show you guys something really cool here though. If we have a look at the bumper, it's beautiful. Can't wait to see this actually fitted on. The color looks absolutely awesome. This is the bit that hasn't been stuck on at all that I've seen. So um, when we get to see the front bumper actually on the car, it's gonna look amazing. We've got the, I think it's the Nismo 400R side skirts, which should look pretty awesome. And then we've got other cars like this. This is a, such a nice R32. Steve's just quickly showing me the engine bay. And if I just pop this open real quick, an actual S1 from Amori. This car's been in the States, brought back over, and oh, just look at it. And then we've just got, you know, another R34 just up at the top. My brother's front wing just over here for the driver's side. Another R34 and another R34 GTR. The brakes look pretty good but they're not even the brakes that are going to be going on this car so the new brakes are going to be fitted on and they're going to be pretty chunky it's just the little bits now just the little bits that are left to do there's a really weird fly flying around right now it's so annoying but yeah there's not a huge amount left to do with the car the interior bits that are going to be going on next i'm actually thinking of sitting inside the car i i, I think i should where it's getting unfailed is that the players meet um well, car show and that is going to be pretty epic that's what steve's deadline is at the moment so it's two weeks away from now and the rush is on because you can see the car is almost there but there's still a fair amount of work that needs to get done the leather seats look pretty nice and the fitment of the alcantara everything is all good now 
My brother does have the R34 GTR steering wheel, which the airbag will go on later on as well. So close, so, so unbelievably close to having it all finished. In fact, oh, there's some more bits over here. Being here with the car at the moment, this view, it basically looks like the car is finished right now. So that is super awesome to see, but we know there's still a little bit of pieces. I know there's that rear cover there that's in the car at the moment. So that's gonna be brought out. We've gotta basically get that fitted on. Looks like we've got some other bits here as well. So this looks like some window trim. Um, these look like the door side skirt attachment parts. Um, his vents, got the brand new headlights. These are the remade ones. They're not genuine Xenon ones. My brother did actually have them and he sold them and he got these because yeah, he was just like, you might as well get these instead because it is completely brand new and it's slightly different but cleaner in certain ways. So that's one cool thing. Now I gotta obviously do my obligatory shop walk around for you guys because you know, I like to show you guys what Steve's up to and the whole gang here. Um, so let's go, shall we? Yeah, we've got these R34s as mentioned earlier. Come back into the main shop. We've got the R33, another R34 there. Seeing him running off now. <laughs> Hiding, okay. This 34 crazy little project on at the moment. I think he's aiming for around 12 to 1300 break, if I'm not mistaken. Literally drag spec. The, the amount of issues Steve has told me that you're gonna have with trying to fit something like this on as a street legal car, it's a bit complicated, but he's gonna have to work around it and he'll be able to make it work. We've got, uh, what is this one? I can't remember what this one is now. Is it 33? Yeah, it is a 33. So got another 33 up there. This 34, oh, white with Basically the bronze T37s. We got no money, let's do it! Ow. And you got a beautiful, beautiful cozy over here. But what is really cool about what Steve's done here that I do need to talk about is all of that behind me. That mezzanine that he's built. So if I go up here right now, you're gonna see just how cool of a vibe this is. I, when I was first walking around, I literally thought, you know what? This is the closest thing I've experienced to being in Tokyo Drift and their workshop section, right? Are you ready? You ready? Look at that view. How cool is this? He has also made this little bit of a workshop area still. Loads of like powder coating and storage and everything, but does it get any cooler than this? The way the shop is at the moment, it's the best I've ever seen it. It's, it just needs just a little bit of tidying up, but the layout of it and everything like that is just, there's a, Lotus Carlton slash Lotus Omega there. It's a left-hand drive German car, but that is super cool. It's in green as well. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? Look at the view, guys. 33, 34, 34, 33 GTR over here. Anyone who's watching this kind of content with me right now, I actually just realized I didn't take a picture for the thumbnail. So um, I'm gonna be grabbing a few pictures real quick. It's so hard to get shot sometimes, especially because I'm not a professional photographer. Let's take some pictures over from this side. Oh. oh my God, okay, this camera is sick. It's just tracked me that whole time. That's amazing, I love this. Gonna go outside, have a look at the R33 that Steve is working on.
<laughs> so nicely. Gearbox in it. It's my gearbox. Oh. because I'm so excited like <laughs> actually do work you know <laughs> I'm not here you're not here okay now you're in Mexico right now actually you're in Mexico, you're in Mexico. that lotus is green by the way very similar to my brother's color just realized yeah it's, it's quite bright right now but haven't recorded anything of Steve's BMW here which is just so cool that I just have to come over and look at it. Look at this beauty. The videos he sends me of this car. Just look at it. You know what? I miss, I miss that. They used to put the number plate in on the windows and it was so cool. And it's so sad that they don't do that anymore. Oh yep, yeah, 520i. Such a cool little car. I've come over in the M5. So let me show you guys actually the kind of bits and pieces that I have brought over with me because that's kind of the the actual reason why I'm here. Here is panel number one. Got a few extra little bits and pieces like the handles over here. That looks. So that's going to be the passenger door handle. So covers. Oh wow, these have come out so nice. Got the center console just over here. So. That is how I've brought this over. It fit in here very nice and snug, but it fit in. Here's the glove box. So it's currently completely dismantled. We've got to put the lock mechanism back in. We've got the lovely, lovely Alcantara interior of the glove box. So it's gonna look absolutely awesome. Everyone, everyone is excited to see how this car looks once it's all come together. So right, I'm gonna take all these things in and uh, I'll see you guys in a moment. Finished up for today. Uh, I'll be honest, I spent a huge amount of time. We were just chatting so much and uh, you know what? So originally the video was supposed to end here, but what ended up happening was... So everyone actually back at uh, SR Auto Bodies today because we've got to do some interior work. Um, some of the bits and pieces are not lining up properly. So my dad's actually here with us as well today and we're going to get some stuff done. But let's just walk through the amazing gateway. Many of you won't know this, but my dad back in the 1980s was working on car interiors and what he used to focus on was purely doing the custom upholsteries that needed to be done for the unique cars. He did that for a huge span of his life and even worked on the Queen's Range Rover, got offered a job at Rolls Royce, but he turned it all down to stay closer to home and work on cars for MG and Rover. It was a huge thing that my brother asked my dad would he be okay to redoing all of his interior and my dad hasn't done it for a while in fact you will notice his fingers are a little bit beaten up with arthritis which unfortunately was caused from the amount of hard work he used to always put into what he was doing. But my dad was someone who just wouldn't say no to this. So he put all of that aside and said yep sure I'll get all my old equipment out and I'll give it a go. So even if the job might not be 100% perfect, like a modern day person will do it, 
it doesn't matter to my brother because my dad put this all together considering that my dad is in his 60s and the fact that he suffers with so many health conditions and stuff like that it's such a privilege for my brother to have him working on the interior i did capture a few bits and pieces of my dad getting the interior together so i just wanted to insert this into this video so we can just go on about it all but there'll be a full detail breakdown video of the interior in the near future as well So that's, that's him being a tight ass. Now yeah. my dad's got all this extra stress on him. Yeah, all this extra stress because I'm not a tight ass. Tight ass? Yeah. Tight uh, ass? Zeke yeah. pretend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Proved it. <laughs> I'm waiting till I feel something on there. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm ooh, ooh. Nah, they're not. <laughs> I can make the best one when Tori's got wrong. Doctor Mal. Show him. <laughs> yeah, Mal. They think you're a doctor. Doctor Mal. I once said to him, I went, why? And he went, it's a thing. He asked me, I suppose. So we have got the air cups going on. So that's going to be added on soon. Steve's been marking up how to do the whole boot floor and stuff. So this mount's been made. It will be a nice little support. We've got some MDF going on. That part's going to be there. The other piece is just there. This is the amp. It's been mounted away under here. So you've got the boot floor that's going to be available to just lift up. Behind here, we've got an extra sub put in it's a really nice little sub if you look at the fitment of it it fits in there really clean and if we look behind here you can see steve's work where he's built the mounts so if we come back over here you can see how again it's going to be mounted up so pretty much it should look in a way where you're not going to be able to tell what's been done the rear pass has just been put in and there's the little adjustments for the suspension pretty much everything oh i just thought something so cool that you could have done i just had a really cool idea but it's probably about what three months too late <laughs> why did you not do the seat belts in like a really dark green that would have looked sick actually and today is the day where we finally get to see the car with the front end and man oh man it just looks amazing Greed, the lighting in here, the way the silver has been done all around the car as well. I just think it just looks <sighs> honestly, I cannot believe how beautiful this looks today. I think it's gonna be a great way of showing the car before the show. Um, so I'll probably upload this on the same day of the event. We're gonna be at players, so unfortunately, if you're watching this video, the car's already there. Looks amazing. It's literally Steve is gonna be doing the 
grill and stuff like that. Doing a few more things to the bumper's not fully under at the moment. And uh, today's one of those days where a little bit of everything all happening around the car at the same time. But unfortunately for Steve, that's all in his head that he has to figure it all out as to which bit's happening next. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's not fun when you have little bits of here, there and everywhere because then it's not a clear path to follow. For once, the car is actually looking like an actual car again. And there's uh, there's also been... Oh, oh wait. Oh, how would I not show this? You, you want to do the light show? Oh, that looks so sick. You know what the thing is? is with the way that flashes, it's, quick, it is, it? it's, it's almost like a police car. Yeah, so like if you did that to someone... So when you put the headlights on, you click between them. That's someone would think that's police. Yeah. That's proper stroke. <laughs> I and think that selling those other ones and getting these. Now that actually, now that I've seen how this works, you can't get that with the stock. So, do you want to speak into the hat? I don't speak into the hat. I was, was going to just go and record him uh, talking into the, or eating I should say. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So soon after this, we ended up calling it a night, but little did I know, this wouldn't be my last visit. This is a sneak peek into another side video that will be coming out, so be sure to subscribe. But this is what I had to do. And I've got a really important parcel to drop off today. And now it requires me to drive all the way over to Boston. That is literally what I've come out to seeing. Ah, I definitely wasn't expecting to see you in here. You're so quiet. <laughs> How's it going? I'm on Team Viewer with Gene in Newcastle. My Toby's talking to him in the office while I'm doing wiring for him. My brother's briefed me a little bit. I'll be the middleman, sir. Starting up. Starting up. Longest cable in the world. I know. Starting up, mate. It's idling. <laughs> The green dials looks even cooler. I just realized that the Nismo dials will be green as well, so they're all combined really nicely together. Damn! That looks sick. I keep putting the M5's lights back on because, you know, adds a really nice glow onto the GTR. Damn, that looks insane! Slightly lumpy off an idle, but could be a lot worse right now. Could be not running. This is the cable work that they've had to do to get the car connected up. Doesn't this feel like Japan? That is very nice. That just, they just want to be black, and then you've got yeah. your handle there. Bolt, go down. So, um, drop off has been completed. All of this drive just But, um, right. Time to head back in the M5. And um, let's chill for a little bit, guys. Let's just chill. Let's have a nice journey back home. Right, so it is basically, well, it's 6 a.m. at the moment and I've just finished editing this video. I really wanted to get this out there before the show um, or edited it so I can upload it for you guys on the day of the show. And it's been an amazing journey to get here. The last couple of weeks have been just unreal. Literally, you guys, you guys can see the amount of trips I've had to do. Um, that's literally within the last couple of weeks. We've made it guys, we've made it to the end of the build stage pretty much. There's only a little bit probably left to do after this, which is getting the mapping done and just making sure everything is working perfectly. So the full build is not finished yet. And also after the build is done, there's all the other adventures that we're gonna to try to get up to. So um, 
it's pretty awesome to get to this stage and I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you genuinely think this GTR content is good, please leave it in the comments down below because I know that these videos don't get a huge amount of views compared to the others on my channel. So I really hope that I'm creating good content. So if you have any thoughts or anything like that you want to share of what I can do better, please let me know. But for now, I hope you all have enjoyed it enough to consider subscribing, give the video a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments, and ideally share the video with someone you think would find it interesting. But for now, everyone, I appreciate all of your support. Thank you to the guys over at SR as well. Oh, and I'm going to be going to the show in a very different car. So that's going to be another reason to subscribe to the channel. But for now, everyone, peace out, and I'll see you later. Bye.